What's up, EDG family? Kevin here, and today I'm bringing you a tasting. Um, I'm bringing you a little brunch, and I'm going to bring you some crunch. So I've actually been looking forward to both of these for quite a while, and I thought there'd be no better way than just to pair them together. So what I have here um, that's probably going to be more available, uh, I don't know, nationwide, is some Cena Fuego Toast Crunch. Uh, my daughter is a huge fan of Captain Crunch, and this one's supposed to be like so it's got heat, so I'm assuming that's going to be a, like a really heavy cinnamon heat. And I definitely wanted to try these before I let her try them. The other thing I have is a local Wichita Brewing Company brunch French toast milk stout. So I don't know if it's just me, but those sound like, you know, this, this could be a pretty good combination. So I felt like this was uh, the best opportunity to do that. So I, I have not had the Fuego. But I have had the brunch. I had it in the brew pub before I picked up uh, the six of that. And I, I like I said, I, I'm pretty excited about this. It's uh, it's very mellow. It's very good. And I think it's going to go really good with the kick this is about to bring us. So I'm going to go ahead and get into this. Uh, the brunch by uh, WBC, which is our brewing company. And as always, my, uh, my uh, very much abused Wichita Brewing Company glass. I may need to uh, may need to grab some few of those, especially if we're going to be doing some more uh, local tastings. But if there's anything that uh, you guys can, I mean, I'm, I am up for about anything when it comes uh, to trying new things beer-wise. And this guy, I'm just, I know he's a very, uh, he's very well-rounded, very smooth, and I'm excited for this. So we can see the color here. It's uh, It's relatively dark. You can definitely taste uh, some sweetness. Oh yeah, a whole lot of sweetness. It's it's definitely that uh, that milk stout uh, sweetness. Uh, that's that's pretty much all I'm getting on the nose. Oh, the oh the French toast is the French toast is on the back end. I was about to say, this thing's like super smooth and, uh, you know, very mellow. This is a very easy drinking uh, milk stout. There's just so much delay on there, but yeah. A little bit of cinnamon, for sure. But yeah, that, that French toasty... Uh, goodness is this very it's it's about the last thing you taste on it which i mean i i don't really i can't complain about something like that that's that's it's a good flavor all right that's gonna be good if this gets if this gets hot which i mean i don't think it's getting too hot i do uh i will tell you i do like i do like me some spicy stuff um i probably draw the line at i don't want to feel bad uh you know, like 15 minutes after I eat it, like I don't want to be dealing with it. That's pretty much my line. But I do like, I do like me, I do like some heat. I do like some heat. <sighs> That's cinnamon. -y. That is. I'm wondering if this is. Uh, I'm trying to think of those like uh, Jolly Ranchers. I got like those heavy cinnamon. I think they're like fire Jolly Ranchers. That's kind of what these remind me of. That's what these remind me of. All right, so I'm gonna start with just one. See what happens. Like I said, I don't think this is gonna be like. Spicy, but let's see how much of a cinnamon kick we got here. Mm. It's all in the back. It almost gives you like a false sense of security. It's like, oh, it's just cinnamon toast crunch. I mean, you could probably pour this in a cereal. I mean, these, you could you could probably pour these in a cereal, and uh, your milk's gonna be very very cinnamony. So I definitely get a little bit, I mean, there's some cinnamon heat. Don't get me wrong. We're going to try like three at once. Get a better, get a better go on this. Hmm. Oh yeah. Much more volume. That's pretty much, uh. Pretty much all cinnamon right there. 
Oh wow. So not really, not really like hot, but like an overwhelming amount of cinnamon. It's still there. Yeah. I could, this definitely uh, increases your body temperature, I'll tell you. It might, like I said, it's not like spicy, but it's, it's a cinnamon heat for sure. Oh man, and this is, this is pretty good because I feel like, I feel like this beer like complements it really good because it's still like taking some of that cinnamon from the, uh, the Cinnamon Toast Crunch Fuego and like bringing that into like the initial on this beer and then just like finishing off like super sweet. Yeah, yeah, it was really good. I definitely say uh, you can find these. I mean, if you like hot cinnamon stuff, check these out for sure, absolutely. But my daughter has been like super big into trying some spicy stuff and we went out to eat the other night and she was like, dad, I'm having what you're having. And I was like, we're going to this wing place, you know, like. I'm a little concerned and I didn't like hold my order back, but fortunately everything I ordered was pretty like hot medium. She's like, dad, these aren't hot. I was like, well, it's fine. But her and I do our own little uh, videos on Facebook, uh, mainly just friends and family. And so I just, like I said, I really wanted to check this out before I just was like, hey Ellie, let's, uh, let's get in here and do this. So yeah, super excited about this. Um, said I can't wait to see what, what how, how her reaction is when she tries these I'll go for this time a lot of cinnamon mm. oh wow oh wow yeah the more you, that's I'm probably gonna have to like tear her up a little bit like start with one then let's do three and then let's do five yeah, a lot of cinnamon. Definitely uh, some heat. Which is good because it's it's a pretty cold day. But yeah, so Wichita Brewing Company. If you haven't checked them out, heard of them. I don't know how easy they're going to get for you to, you to find, but they do have a very solid lineup. If you're ever in the area, check them out. They have fantastic pizza. Um, they have fantastic everything, to be honest. They have sandwiches. They have all kinds of good stuff. But their beer has been I mean when they say support local I, I do because these guys are phenomenal we have a bunch of really other good breweries around and these guys by far with the food and everything just top shelf top shelf but yeah this brunch might be a little hard to find I'm hoping they bring it back this is definitely unlimited I like it I'm probably gonna go pick up another one just to have on on reserve but that's pretty much gonna do it for me um said check out the check out the brunch if you can check out the crunch uh i don't think you'll be disappointed if you know what you're getting into but until next time uh be sure to check out the rest of my stuff on my channel um i'll have more stuff like this coming up and uh who knows who knows more gaming stuff hopefully more food more drink but much love thanks for watching